How many times have you slapped your first tee shot out of bounds or into the trees and lost ball or into the water only to step up with your provisional ball and smash it down the middle of the fairway? That's the second golfer and so many times people have said he could be on tour. So today I'm testing that theory I'm going to show you every shot of my round, but with a twist. I have the option to take a second ball if I don't like the first, but it's automatically in play and not putting, so we have to be good on the greens. Normally for me, a good round round here is about level par, that's under my handicap of three. So let's try break the course record, that's five under par, so six under or better. Well, luckily, there's no pressure on this first one, but I'd like it to be in play so I don't really have to worry about hitting a second. Mm, that's a tiny bit toey and left. Probably short of the wall. Do I want to risk it? Yeah. Don't want to start like that. So this ball is now in play, which is a bit scary. That's far better struck. In fact, that's sensational. I'm glad I took that one now. A bit nervy though. Well, I'm extremely glad I didn't take that. That's unplayable. Tee shot was immense. And I get preferred lies because it's October now and the ground's a bit wet. 68 yards the flag and it's on top of a little hill. So need to land this about 62. That looks massive. Yeah, that looks a bit long. I can't quite see it, so dangerous. But I'm going with the second ball. Pretty good, just need a little less. Pulled it a bit. Nice bounce. That's much better for distance, I believe, anyway. Maybe about 10 feet for birdie, so I feel vindicated. So you can see my second ball off the back there. It's about twice as far away, so good decision in the end. Well, that's aggressive. Nope. That was too aggressive. That was 100% in if I'd have just not whacked it. All right. Solid-ish par to start things off. No complaints. All right, a solid start. This is somewhat counterintuitive because without the idea of the second ball, you couldn't be this aggressive, but I'm hitting driver, not normally the club, hugging the right side, but want to be inside the tree line. And then if this goes wrong, I can fall back on a four iron for my other one. That's an absolutely amazing strike, but it's actually drifting right. I thought when I hit that, that was perfect, but I don't think it is, so sorry mate. I don't think I'm going to regret that to be fair, so four iron it is. If I can strike it anything like that, I'd be happy. Well, I've hit that as well as I could hit a four iron, but it was far from low. So we're going to have a ways in, albeit only a wedge. Well, so far my decisions have been good. My first ball, my driver, was blocked out by the trees down there and would have been a dicey approach. I'm further away than I'd like. I've got 116 playing 105 to this pin, which would normally be a 52 degree, but I've got my 50 degree because it's into the draft. That's straight at the flag. Well, I didn't see that bounce, which was interesting, but it's a good looking shot. Now comes the conundrum. I think I'm just gonna to have to take that because that was a nice shot. That could come back to haunt me later. Not a bad approach. I've only got 20 feet, but it's severely uphill, which is a shame because the ball actually landed short of flag high, but just on the fringe. So it dribbled down to here. Go. Oh, close. Just trailed off to the right at the end, but another solid par. Very, very solid, in fact. 
I'll take that, that's a good start. It's quite blustery today, so that is going to be a factor. And there's a few blind tee shots at the start of this course, so it's a bit difficult to know exactly where your ball's ended up, so something to consider. Okay, not quite lit the touch paper just yet, but it's a solid start. And I've got three wood here on the third. Just a bit concerned with it being downwind that I might reach the ditch further down there. Just inside this tree is the line. Hold your line. Yeah, good with that. May have just missed the fairway left, but that's a good tee shot. I'll take that all day long. Good decision again. 131 flag, but it's straight downwind again. So I've got my 120 club, much like the last hole. Just need to hit a nice smooth one of these. Tree's not an issue. And if it doesn't go well, we've got the old second ball. So I'm off flag hunting. Decent for line. Oh, golf shot, go in the hole. Oh my goodness, I don't think I could ever do any better, not with a million tries. That looks like it nearly went in. That is honestly one of the best shots I've ever hit on this hole, if not the best. And all we have is about two feet for a natural birdie. What a three. That's probably the hardest hole on the course in my opinion. So come on baby, one under. We're underway. Now, if you've been a fan of the channel for any length of time, you'll know this is my home course. And we don't let our foot off the gas here. We've got a drivable par four with Beamsley Beacon in the background. How good does that look on a sunny day? So if you can pump this on the green, we've got two attempts at it, technically speaking. So let's go make another birdie and get two under through four. I've had to wait five minutes there, which Anybody that plays the game doesn't particularly like those nervous weights. Pop that out of the mind. Oh my goodness. That could go in the hole. I don't actually know because I can't see the flag, but I couldn't hit it any better. And I definitely don't need the second ball. There's definitely a lot to be said for this. Although it's kind of backwards because the pressure's off on the first shot, it does mean just that, that there's no real pressure on me and that kind of is the case when you hit a provisional ball where you're like well I've made a mess of this hole already so I don't have to worry especially if it's a stable foot. Now I'm not going to allow myself the opportunity for two shots here because I'm around the green so best hit a good one and get up and down. It's quite an easy shot though. Go. Oh, I thought for a moment I might have hold it, but who could possibly complain about a tapping birdie on a par four? Thank you very much. This is the start of dreams. And like we said in the intro, second player's on top, although that's two natural birdies in a row, so I'm eating my words. Now it's really time to focus here. I know I have two attempts at this, but just to hit the green once is a good achievement here. So if I can do that with my first ball, we'll be laughing. 181 playing 161 to a very much back left pin, but the wind is this way, so it's going to be very awkward. I've got my 175 club and trying to hold it and hit it nice and low under this wind. I'm aiming 20 feet right of the pin. I've absolutely pured it, but there's no draw, and I probably should have known that. That's not good. Distance looked okay, though, but I'm going to have to give it another go. If I can just hit it like that, but further left, that would be sublime. Oh, just like that. Go in the hole. <laughs> that is... An unbelievable golf shot. I think it's just passed, but under that sort of pressure where it was that or nothing, come on! <laughs> What's going on? Right, this is where it ended up, and you're going to get a great view of the putt. It's not stone dead, but I'm still wildly satisfied with the result. 
Oh wow, that's turned a lot more than, bloody hell. Excuse my language, but that was not expected. That's just one of those where you just accept that you've completely misread the putt and move on swiftly. Sorry, PGA Toy, you'll just have to wait, I'm afraid. I'm an idiot. Okay, I just took a moment to relax. I've had a little wait again. Meditated a tad, had a drink of water, and now it's time to switch on. Got three wood, this is very gettable from this forward tee. Just a little bit worried about the left to right wind, so I just wanna start it just right of the marker post in front of me and draw it back. Nope, that's a toey hook. That could be bye-bye golf ball. So we need the second one and we need it big. The old speed soft tailor made could have disappeared there. So I'll try that again. Similar strike, just less toey really. Problem with this is I'm a bit nervous now. What nerves? Why couldn't I just do that first time? It might have crept into the front right bunker, but that's a good position from there, especially considering where the first one went. I tell you what, golfer number two is a phenomenal golfer. This is for a two, about 20 feet, bit of right to left up the hill. And I am going wild if this goes in. And I found my first ball albeit deep in the trees. That in fact went left to right, which has perplexed me somewhat. Foot and a half, four or three on this hole is definitely a good score. Excellent news, we're three under par now. Definitely try this next time you're just golfing on your own for the funsies, because it's ace. <laughs> that was so Yorkshire. Well, if nothing else, this has so far been fantastic for my confidence. And now I've got the Chief, or Kenneth as he's better known on the channel. Never normally hit him on this hole, but have the benefit of going safe if he's not in play. So we're just going to smash this, and quite honestly, downwind, I could get this somewhat close. It is 320. And yes, tiny bit low on the face, but it's straight up the middle of the fairway and we are having the time of our lives. Hope you are too. Right, I've come to have a butchers at the green just to see what I'm dealing with. I've got 40 yards or 35 playing 40. So I think 35 is the number, just land it on the upslope and kill it. No second chances then, but I don't think I need it. Just landed short, get up there. I'll tell you what, that's not bad. If I'd have just landed that a tiny bit further, it would have been perfect. Fortunately, an uphill pot on this hole is very desirable indeed, because it is slippery the other way. <laughs> bit too confident. Maybe a tiny bit less pace than we had that, but that caught a lot of hole. Hmm. Somewhat disappointed, but a par, that's stroke index two. So yeah, on balance, I'm happy with that. Well, golfer number one says a par's a good score, but golfer number two is thinking, I want birdies, more birdies. And then on top of that, I want a side of more birdies. So we're going with driver. I don't think I can reach today on here. It's about 320 to the front, but usually it's downwind, but today it's into. So I'm hitting it at those bushes. a tad it's a nice ball flight yeah I think that's good it's gonna be short of the first bunker sorry tracer hope it didn't get in the way I saw it bounce a few times so that's another good shot and we can definitely make bird from there now I could conceivably scull this into oblivion so I'm giving myself two opportunities if I need them 78 playing 71 yards to a naughty back flag. I'd have rather have been down there, it might have opened the green up. But I don't feel like there's any downside to going for it, so that's what we're doing. Uh, 
yes, that's absolutely delicious. No need for golfer two, get back in your place, sir. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it appears that so far, this is somewhat of a career round for me, but just got to focus on every shot, not get ahead of myself, not get too caught up in what's going on, just take every shot as it comes, or two, if required. This then for natural birdie number two of the round, and I'm just trying to tell myself that I can't see this missing. And it hasn't. That feels fantastic, and I believe that's four under through eight. Come on, Johnny. Okay, this is where I really feel like the two balls come into their own, because par threes, especially 166 yard ones are tough. So if I can hit a good shot here, I'll just take it. And I can learn a lot if I don't hit a good one. I've pushed it, it is drawing. Oh, we've got ourselves a conundrum. That's definitely on the green, but it's a lengthy putt. I'm risking it for a biscuit. Player two wouldn't back down, so that means I won't. I literally don't want to do anything different. Just hit it a little straighter. And remember, this is in play now. Oh, and that's so thin. It's actually not that much different to my first. It's just a bit further right, and that definitely won't be on the green. And that's my first real mistake, I would say. I'm leaving that ball there because I want to remember never to do that again. That's a good shot and I should have known that. However, the chances of me making it aren't that great. So if I can get this up and down, then no damage has been done. Simmer now. Well, it's just rolled out a little bit more than I'd like. But I've got to believe I can make those, especially if I want to break the course record. We're only one away through eight holes. A wonderful, wonderful nine holes, albeit a slightly dodgy finish. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week for the back nine. Goodbye.